Hey, main stagers, I'm the main stage guru. Today we're going to talk about patch changes, either changing patches in main stage from external gear or using main stage as the master and changing patches on external gear from main stage. Or in my case, both at the same time. Stand by, here it comes. <laughs> Today I'm going to address a question that was asked on one of the Facebook groups that I frequent called Keyboard Players and Cover Bands. The question was posted by Matt Roche and asked in part, Currently I'm using Setlist Helper and changing patches manually for each song. Can you recommend a tutorial on how I can use Mainstage for my setlist and patch changes? I think I need to get with the times. Thanks so much. Mainstage can either act as a master to send patch changes to external gear or external gear can send patch changes to main stage. In my case, I actually use it both ways at the same time. In my live rig, I use a Korg Kronos SE as my master keyboard. I also use a Yamaha EX5 as both a sound source and a controller for main stage sounds. I use the Kronos to send patch changes to main stage, which calls up all my VIs, splits, and layers. Main stage in turn sends patch change information out to my EX5, so it's also automatically configured. Here's how I do it. Okay, so here's the concert that I use for my cover band DV8. And as you see, we've got a lot of songs over here uh, that we play on a regular basis. I need to be able to call these things up very quickly. And so there's a lot of stuff that's going on here all the time, uh, including, uh, well, there's Frankenstein. Here's, uh, uh, where's my Aussie song, No More Tears. Lots and lots of splits and layers and things that need to be called up fairly quickly. So in order to do this, I've had to make some decisions on how I wanted to interface my keyboards and main stage. Uh, because I have a Korg Kronos, I like to use the set list mode on the Kronos because it's right there in front of me. And I can adjust the set list uh, on the fly or, uh, you know, set it up uh, based on you know, what our set list is for the night. And then I can step through that set list on the Kronos and main stage will respond to that. So I've chosen to use all of my patches in the Kronos as combinations or combis. And as part of that, I can use a specific MIDI channel on a specific piece of my combi in the Kronos to send patch change information to main stage. And it's always consistent. And I've selected to use channel 16 to do that. So in order to get main stage to respond to this, you need to go to the concert level, and there it is. And as this little inspector screen opens up down here, you'll see concert settings mini, uh, MIDI. Down here in the patch changes, it's going to listen to my Korg Kronos, and it's going to respond to information that comes in on channel 16 of the Kronos. Now, there's this additional option down here to send unused program changes to channel strips. I make sure that that is not selected. And that's a personal preference, and it's based on what I consider a best practice for me at least. I don't want that information to go to the channel strips. I want main stage to hold all the information and make sure that it stays static so I can change from patch to patch and it will be ready to go in that respect and I don't have to worry about it the patch change information drilling down to other modules that's a layer of complexity that I didn't feel that I wanted to, to deal with so now in order for main stage to understand which patch to pull up when you go into patch the individual patches you go down here into patch settings and under attributes you'll see that there is program change and this number is what Main stage will respond to when it receives patch change three, for instance, from the Korg Kronos. Uh, Cradle will rock response to patch change number one, Dream Police to five, uh, my basic piano and organ set up on four, uh, Sing Me Away on 23, and etc. And it just goes down the list, and you can see all the, the different patch changes that are there, and it responds to each one of them in kind. So one button press on my Kronos changes all this information over here on main stage. So that's one way to do it. The other thing that you may want to do is to have main stage send patch change information to external gear. That way you can use main stage as 
the master, for instance, and you could either use a forward or backward button, uh, like down here in the uh, um, in the patch list uh, when you put it in uh, performance mode, or you can use the down arrow on your keyboard and it will respond to it that way. So in my particular case, I use my EX5 as not only a sound source but a controller, but I don't want to have to change a patch on the Kronos and the EX5. I just want everything to happen automatically with one button push. And so main stage handles that for me in this configuration. Again, I've had to decide on a channel that I wanted my external gear to respond to. And in this particular case, I'm having my EX5 respond to channel 14. And in a, when you call up an external MIDI channel strip, you know, it gives you lots of options and what the input and stuff is. In my case, this channel strip here is exactly that. This is an external channel strip. And at the top, I can select uh, under MIDI output which device it goes to and which channel it's going to send the information to. Okay? So if you click that channel strip in the channel strip inspector, you'll see that it has uh, a bunch of options down here. Under MIDI output, you can say on change, uh, change patch, all these different things. If you click send program change, you can select a program change number that your external gear will respond to. And if your external gear also handles bank select messages, you can send bank select messages to it as well. Uh, in my case, uh, my EX5, I, I, I only have, oh, maybe two dozen, three dozen patches that I deal with, so I have it all set up fairly easily. But I can change which patch the EX5 goes to by changing these numbers down here, and it responds in kind. So that way, one button push, or, you know, in the case of this, I can go down here, um, be hard to maybe hard to see how this is going to happen. So 74 uh, is back on my feet. Let's see what Dream Police has here. When I go to the EX5, there's uh, patch 31. Uh, my piano organ patch. Uh, there's the EX5. It's patch or uh, program change 19, and so on and so forth. And that's how the EX5 will respond as a piece of external gear to the information that's called up in main stage. So that's how you can use external gear to change patches in main stage, or to use main stage to change patches on your external gear. And in some cases like mine, you may need to do both at the same time. The key to trouble-free operation is simply being consistent. If for no other reason, it'll make it easier to troubleshoot when you have problems. Before I sign out, I just want to mention, if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see me cover here on my YouTube channel, either comment below or send me a message through social media. I'd love to see everyone get the absolute most out of main stage. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell so you can be notified when I post a new video. Don't forget that all my main stage sound sets are available on my website, jimquesta.com, including my latest Sounds of Genesis sound set. I'm the main stage guru. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.